G'day guys, we're continuing our look at organisational culture and today we're posing a question, do you as a leader understand your organisational culture and values and are you living the behaviours that they were intended and is your team doing that? So before you can really analyse what's going on within your culture and values, behaviours in the organisation, you've got to have a good understanding of what types of cultures exist. So we've developed this simple quadrant. Now, there's four common cultures here. We're not suggesting they're all of them, but here, there, these are four that are common. The first one is clan. And in a clan organisation or culture, they're very flexible. There's an internally, inter, they're internally focused. They're all about loyalty and participation. They're very cohesive, and there's a lot of self-management within that type of culture. The next one is adhocracy. Apple comes to mind as an adhocracy. They're flexible. They're risk takers, they're highly innovative, they're always ahead of the curve, they're externally focused. Uh, so that's an adhocracy. The next one is market, and a market is classic for retail. So they're results driven, they're all about sales and profit, they're goal orientated, uh, they're externally focused as well, but there's also a lot of control within the organisation. Then you've got hierarchy. Now, these organisations are all about rules, standards and process, procedures. Classic organisations that sit here would be ones like McDonald's. Also government organisations would be classic for a hierarchy type uh, culture. Then think about that as a whole, but then look at, is your organisation more of a flexible organisation? Does it really sit and is driven by an external focused culture? Is it a control culture? Is it an internal focus culture? These elements will help you identify and understand culture in more detail. And when you're posing a question, do you understand it? It will put more of it in context as to uh, where you're currently at. So pose yourself the question, where do you sit on the quadrant? And when was the last time that you really analyzed your culture and values? Has it been a while? Are you truly living up to the intended culture and are the values uh, meeting expectation? Now, to do that, you might also do a survey with your team to get a, a feel from them where it currently is at and what, what is the perception of it currently. So that might be something as simple as an organisational survey, an organisational cultural survey, or it could be something as simple as a satisfaction, a staff satisfaction survey. And with that information, you'll be able to get an idea of how your culture and values are currently perceived and certainly give you an idea where whether you're living your intended culture or whether you've got some work to do. So start with that, see how you go with some of that feedback and then go back and ask yourself the question again. Do I as a leader understand the organisational culture and values and am I leading by example and showing people the way? Thanks for watching guys. There's more information below this video.